So I got off the phone with Jesse Lawrence. He runs Ticket IQ, a big secondary marketplace for tickets, and he talked about something he has never seen before in his entire time running the business of tickets in terms of behavioral economics. All these Indians fans, they are giving up on the team. They have been offloading their tickets by the thousands going back to last night, the end of game six. So if you look at that chart there, that's the price of Game 7 tickets while Game 6 was happening. And you can see it's all these Cubs fans raising the price for Game 7 as they know they're winning Game 6. And then as soon as Game 6 ended, you see a collapse. And all these Indians fans, they're selling their tickets. The supply is getting flooded into the markets. And we're seeing the prices go down hour by hour. So the price at noon was actually much higher than it is even now at 3.30 p.m. And so what it's saying is that Cleveland fans have given up. They've seen the team blow 3-1 leads. They've seen the Cavs come back from a 3-1 deficit in the NBA Finals. They don't want to be there. They don't want to be part of a Game 7 loss, a collapse. And so it's all these Cubs fans. When you look at the data, 37% of the buyers are actually from Chicago, while only 22% are from Cleveland, even though the game's in Cleveland. So a really interesting phenomenon here that we're seeing play out. It's a different kind of trading, different kind of marketplace in the stock market, but we are seeing some real behavioral economics going on with this, Bill. That the uh, you know the stadium will be in Cleveland, but the fans. You wonder what kind of roaring will be happening depending like on which team crowd, does what, right? right? Exactly. Yeah, and Chicago our boss, fans. our boss is from Ohio here at CNBC, and he says this is just prudent Ohio people who want to just take the money and watch it from home. But I don't know if I believe that. <laughs> I, I don't know either. Maybe Rick got a deal. Exactly. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.